It's actually quite healthy. You know, lots of healthy nuts and seeds in there. Some veggies in there. It looks beautiful. Don't want to spray a little bit. Oh, I ripped my glove. And welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. So today I'm gonna show you a holiday recipe. Very exciting. Do I look festive? I think so. So we're gonna do some Christmas recipes, holiday recipes, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna divide this into like three videos, I think. So today's gonna be the main, which is gonna be, well, I don't wanna call it a main. I feel like you just have like a, you know, big thing of food on the holidays. Like, is there really a main? It's all just like a bunch of little things, which is my favorite thing. But anyway, so today we're gonna be making a nut roast yay so I was thinking about what to make for the holiday season and I was like you know what I feel like I've shown you guys a million nut roast recipes and then I realized no I have not so we're gonna do a nut roast recipe if you guys don't know nut roast is basically like a plant-based version of a kind of like a, a meat loaf roast why do they call it roast I don't know in England they call it a roast they're like we're having a Sunday roast so we're making a plant-based version of that roast or or in North America, I think we call it meatloaf. So you can call it nut loaf, nut roast, whatever you want to call it. But this is definitely one of my favorite things to eat. It's definitely a little more time consuming than my normal recipes. And it does take a little bit more effort, but it is worth it, especially for the holidays. So definitely try this out. But at the same time, I don't really know what I'm doing because I'm going to kind of wing this recipe. Well, not completely wing it, but I have an idea of it in my head. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it, but I have an idea in my head. Okay, this is how I usually make pretty much all my recipes so we're gonna go on this journey together fun okay so this video is gonna be the first video in a series of three I think maybe I'll do like a fourth we'll see but it's gonna be holiday recipes so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already it's gonna be all plant-based holiday recipes and of course I also have a holiday recipes playlist which I'll link down below as well of all of my previous holiday friendly recipes so yeah if you guys need the written recipes measurements and everything all of that is in a blog post link down below so check it out and without further ado let's get started and let's make our nut roast all right guys so first thing I'm gonna make some oat flour I'm not sure how much oat flour I'll need but I'm gonna make some I just have regular rolled oats so all you have to do is just blend this up and make an oat flour simple easy I have a cup of this but I probably won't use all of it but I'm just gonna blend it up and see we'll see what happens okay so I'm just gonna use a food processor for this and then just press it. There you go, see? That's very simple, you guys. That's how you make an oat flour. So just more finely ground oats. I just use rolled oats. And then I'm just gonna set this in a side and then we'll use it when the time comes. And we're gonna take that same food processor, you guys, and we're gonna process a few more things. Firstly, let's process carrots. Peeled already. I'm just gonna cut it into chunks just so we can grate it. It's just easier. I'm using the food processor anyway, so we're gonna grate that. Look at this, simple, two seconds. Okay, now we can also process some mushrooms. So we're gonna use about, is it about a cup of diced mushrooms? Just gonna throw that in. Again, we're just gonna chop it with the food processor. I might need to do a little shakeage. So let's set this aside. Basically, it's a lot of blending, a lot of chopping. So that's around a cup of mushroom. We're gonna set this aside. I already have diced onion. So this is one onion that I diced, but you could also, if you're lazy, you can also throw it into the food processor as well. But that's already diced, so I'm not gonna do that. And now we have a mixture of nuts and seeds. I told you it's a nut roast, so we're gonna use nuts, but I also like to add in some seeds and stuff. I kind of usually just do like a random medley of whatever nuts and seeds I have available. I almost always like to add like, yeah, usually almonds and walnuts, but here I also have some pumpkin seeds, some sunflower seeds, and some cashews. So all you do is just measure out two cups of nuts and seeds, whatever nuts and seeds of your choice. So yeah, I'm just using a big selection of a few different ones. We'll see how this turns out. So I think I have here half a cup of almonds, half a cup of cashews, half a cup of walnuts, and then a quarter cup each of the pumpkin seeds and the sunflower seeds. And now, of course, guys, we're gonna throw this in the food processor 
and we're just gonna finally chop the nuts and seeds. Look at that. Here we go, you guys. Look at that, oh my gosh. And now I think we can start cooking. All right, you guys, so now we can start cooking the veggies. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil on a pan, okay? And then I'm gonna start with the onion and garlic. So we're just gonna add our onion. And I already have some minced garlic. For my garlic hack, check out my video down below, linked down below. Let's do like, I don't know, a table, maybe two tablespoons. I mean, we, we like garlic around here. Maybe around like, I don't know, three to six cloves, depending on how much you like garlic. As always, I like to add a little bit of water to help me cook it. So now I'm gonna just add in the carrots and the mushrooms, the grated carrots and grated mushrooms. So we're just gonna cook this up a few minutes. So this time I kinda wanna try adding miso paste as the flavor. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, okay? But we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Let's just add in, I don't know, I'm not supposed to heat it up, but whatever. We're just gonna do it. One tablespoon of miso paste. Just gonna mix it in with the veggies and it should melt as well while it's heating up. Another tablespoon. I'm using white miso paste. I don't know if that makes a difference. Is this white miso paste? How do you know? How do I, how do I know? I don't know. It's miso paste. So we're just gonna mix that in. We got two tablespoons of miso paste. That's gonna add some nice umami flavors. Okay. Okay, so I think the veggies are pretty much done. Now I'm gonna start putting things together. It's easier than you might think. It's always very intimidating when you start, but then you realize it's not that bad, okay? So now let's start putting things together. All right guys, so now we're gonna add the veggie mixture into a large mixing bowl. And then we can kind of just put everything in here, I think. So we have, of course, our nuts and seeds that we've ground up. I'm also gonna add in two tablespoons of ground flax seeds. I feel like this is gonna help us bind. I feel like this is one of the more simpler nut roasts I've made. All right, so I kind of like the consistency right now, so I'm not gonna add too, too much, but I'm gonna add a little bit of oat flour that's gonna help bind it even more. I'm just gonna do a quarter cup of the oat flour. So if you made a little bit extra oat flour, that's okay, you can actually use it for a lot of other things. And then I'm also gonna add in just a quarter cup of breadcrumbs in here as well. And then let's add in some seasonings. I have some thyme. Let's do like a teaspoon of thyme. I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of parsley. I also have some smoked paprika. Again, maybe like a teaspoon. And one teaspoon of garlic powder. And then I'm just gonna add a little pinch of salt. I feel like we could use a little bit more salt. I'm gonna say like a quarter teaspoon of salt. Give this a taste and see if you like it first. So basically you want like a consistency that isn't too, too wet so that it doesn't become too mushy when you put it in the oven. I feel like that's why I get nervous every time I make any sort of lentil or nut loaf. I'm like, is this gonna stay together? But I feel like this consistency is pretty good. Now I'm just gonna give it a little taste. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, I think it's delicious. Do I wanna add anything else? Maybe some pepper? Little pepper, maybe a tiny bit more salt. Just a tiny, just a tiny, just a little, just a little bit. There we go. All right guys, so I thought I had a, you know, loaf pan thing, but I feel like Angela stole it. My old roommate stole it. <laughs> I will call her after this. Anyways, I can't find it, basically. I had a perfect little loaf pan, but I thought, hey, I'm just gonna wing it. So I'm just gonna maybe try to shape the loaf for those of you that don't have a loaf pan, you can still make vegan loaf. Oh, you know what? Why am I wearing a glove for one hand and not the other? Don't ask. All right, so we're just gonna shape it. I think it's working out very well for us. I'm quite excited for this. It's actually quite healthy. You know, lots of healthy nuts and seeds in there. Some veggies in there. It looks beautiful. Don't wanna spray a little bit. Oh, I ripped my glove. Um, I'm just gonna spray a little oil on top. I feel like it'll, I don't know, look nice. Now, I mean, look at this. <laughs> so we're gonna bake this in the oven. I have it preheating at 375 degrees. I think it'll be about 40 minutes, 40 to 50 minutes usually. Yeah, I'll be right back in 40 to 50 minutes. Wait a second, I think I wanna cover it first. 
Do I have aluminum foil? That is a great question. Give me a second. Yay, I have aluminum foil. So now, we're just gonna cover it. Should I just cover the loaf? I don't know what I'm doing. I think we can do this. So let's do 40 minutes covered and then we'll see what happens. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I baked this for 40 minutes covered and then I removed the cover and I baked it for another five and it kind of looks nice, okay? So I also let it cool down for a bit um, because if you let it cool down, it's gonna become more firm. So it'll make it easier to cut and serve. Now I'm just gonna try cutting it. Ooh. Now, I was gonna make a glaze, but I don't have really much ingredients for a glaze. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Look at this perfection. I am sorry, but that looks delicious. It's staying together. It smells really nice. So you can make a glaze and put the glaze over top. I'll leave you guys a little glaze recipe as well, but you could also serve this with gravy. I have some leftover gravy here from a previous video I made, so I'll link that video down below if you guys want the gravy recipe. But I'm just gonna start plating it. But this looks pretty good, you guys. I'm quite happy with my, my creation. All right, let's plate it. Ooh. Now we're just gonna place a little bit of the gravy on top. So again, you can make a, kind of like a sweeter glaze or make a gravy to go with it, okay? It's up to you guys. Look at that. So it is time to try our nut roast. Ooh la la. It smells delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Cranberry. All right. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of cranberry sauce. A little bit of cranberry sauce. Mmm. You guys, I am telling you, the nut roast is the way to a non-vegan's heart. <laughs> Trust me when I say these are so delicious. Mm. It has nice texture. It's not mushy at all. Lots going on in terms of flavor. Goes so well with cranberry sauce. I think it'd be great with a glaze as well, but it's really good with the gravy too. It's really deep in flavor too. The more you chew, the more flavor you get out of it. Look at me just finishing it. Oh my God. Mm. Make it. It's not that hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the actual final Christmas dinner product, okay? So make sure you subscribe to get all of the other recipes because as you can see, there's a lot more food on this plate and you do want the rest of the recipes, okay? So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss part two and three. And of course, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, of course, don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below if you tried this recipe, if you enjoy it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!